Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Today I'm going to do something exceedingly stupid. We're going to do some coloring. We're going to use some paint cans. Um, this is actually going to be a pretty quick video and then I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to continue going because I'm going to have a skill pill running, but I'm going to end it after the coloring thing. So I wanted to run you guys through a little bit about coloring. So as you may notice, every now and then you get a paint can in your loot when you're out hunting, right? There's different colors. So when you go to the information, you'll see the different colors you need a different level to use. So like orange, blue, yellow, those are the ones that are used the most often. That's one of the reasons they have the highest markup. Uh, brown here, you need to be level 15 to properly use. Notice I'm only 18.1% of the way there because I rarely, if ever, color. In fact, I think this will be only the second time I've ever done it. So it's one of the most expensive professions to get into. Uh, that's why you see a lot of people doing it for free as long as you'll provide the materials. Shout out to anybody who needs coloring done. You bring me the item, you bring me the paint, I'll color it for free. Um, you don't even have to tip me. If you want to tip me, feel free, but you don't have to because I'm going to get the skills, right? So why would I do it? Well, eventually I want to be able to color my own clothing, my own ship, stuff like that. So what do I need in the tools? I need a colorator of some sort. Now this is an unlimited colorator. They do make limited colorators for fashion. So if you're doing clothing, you can get a limited colorator. It's got better decay on it. Uh, they also have bleaching attachments that you can get and bleaching tools. So if the color doesn't come out right and you don't like it, you can try again. I'm not gonna worry about that today because I know that none of these are gonna come out the correct color. So what I have here is I've got some limited blueprint books. Uh, I got them from the trade terminal. Notice it's got a C in the name. That C in the name means it's customizable with custom colors. It can also mean custom textures. So I'm going to be coloring these because I'm just going to throw them into a TT machine. So what do you lose when coloring? Well, you definitely lose the markup on the paint, right? So I'm going to be losing about 15% just in the markup. I've got roughly about 350, 400 ped worth of paint here, give or take, something like that. Each of these stacks is about seven pet I believe. Some of them are more, I think this one's like 24, this one's like 43. Um, so quite a bit of ped it, in markup is going down the drain, right? I've got the decay on the colorator that I'm gonna have to pay. Um, I've also got the TT value I'm gonna lose on the paint. So whenever I color, I'm gonna be using like each of these stacks of seven ped, right? So I'm not gonna get all of that back. What's gonna happen is whenever I color the blueprint book, I'm going to get back in my loot 90% of the TT value of the paint. So I'm losing not only the markup, I'm losing 10% of the TT value as well. So painting and coloring, very, very, very expensive to skill, but we're going to skill it anyway. Um, this is kind of like the introductory guide. So I, I've, not, I've honestly never seen a global from coloring, but you know, this is a pretty decent sized coloring run, bigger than what most people do. So we're going to see if we can pull off a global somehow while coloring. So let's see what can be done. Let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. And uh, all the best, right? So this way you guys can kind of get a feel for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to equip my colorator. And now I'm going to hit E. So I'm going to place the item I want to color in the field. Before I do that, I'm actually going to pop the skill pill. So consume skill pill. There we go. So now we're off to the races. So blueprint book. I want to take to color right there. So let's go back to paint. And I want paint. Your current skill is not enough to handle this material efficiency. I'm very aware of that, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. So we're gonna apply. And notice I got back 6.3 ped. Woohoo. So we're just gonna repeat this process over and over again. Uh, I'm also keeping track of how many skills I got. So 2.3 three two in coloring and then another 2.3 in color matching so let's go with the next item and let's repeat and just keep on going down the line so number three and then number four and I'm gonna do this over and over one of the reasons I'm breaking it up like this guys I'm trying to get a pigment enhancer um, as I skill, occasionally the system may reward me in my loot with a pigment enhancer. Pigment enhancers have hellaciously good markup. So I'm hoping for a pigment enhancer. If I can pull that off, it will offset some of my cost here. Um, it won't offset the entire thing, but it will offset some of it, right? 
So let's just see if we can make that happen. So coloring is probably one of the least utilized skills in game simply because it is so expensive. Like I said, you obviously lose the markup on the paint um, because you're coloring, you're not selling, right? So you lose the markup. That can be an easy 20, 30, 40%. I'm losing about 15% right now every time I do this. Um, on top of that, you're also losing TT value because you're losing 10% of the TT value every time you click that button. Notice these all kind of look the same. So I need to bleach those ones. I'm not going to bleach them. I'm just going to sell them. Uh, you've also got the decay, right? So that plays a factor. So it's a really, really expensive thing to get into. This, this is by no means cheap. It's probably one of the most expensive professions in game. And that's why you don't see a lot of people doing it. That's why you see people that are doing it. They're usually saying, hey, if you want something done, bring it to me. Uh, as long as you'll bring me the materials, I'll do it for free. That's typically why they do that, right? Because super expensive. You're losing that 10% off the bat. You're also losing the uh, markup on whatever you got. I'm kind of losing track with where I am. There we go. And that's why I picked up a whole lot of these limited blueprint books ahead of time. Is so that I can just go down the list here. Because instead of bleaching these, when I bleach them, I don't necessarily get the benefits, right? So instead of bleaching them after they're colored poorly, um, I will actually throw them back into the trade terminal. And I will just TT them and get my money back out of them. It might be mixing them up here, because I, I should have way plenty. I made sure of that before I started, so it might be mixing the books up a little bit. Um, one thing to note, guys, you'll notice there's actually three fields. So notice field one, field two, field three. So uh, let's see here. So like that one, it's kind of the, the overall. And then if I wanted to do field two, uh, th which there's not one on here, but most items do have three fields, so you can do three different colors, right? So in order to get 100% saturation, in order to get the right color uh, every time, what you have to do is two things. A, you have to be using a color that you're maxed on. Obviously, I am not maxed. That's why I keep getting that warning. So like I said, the three ones that everybody usually starts with is orange, blue, and yellow. So you've got to be maxed on the paint color. You've got to have the right color level. You've got to have the high enough profession, right? But then you also have to use 323 paint per field for complete saturation. Uh, that puts you roughly at about 100% success. I'm going to say 99.999% success because that's what most people will tell you as nobody really likes to say 100. But the general rule of thumb is when you're using a, uh, a, a color that you're maxed on, a color that you're capable of handling properly, not what I'm doing here, but something like blue, orange, or yellow when you first start, if you use 323 cans of paint per field, you should get the color you want. You can also use this slider down here at the bottom to slide back and forth on your saturation color. So it makes a difference because let's say you try and do it cheap. Let's, let's say you try and use uh, 200 paint cans instead of 323, right? You might get lucky and you might still get that perfect saturation or you might end up with a really crappy looking color on your item. So if that happens, it's kind of like, what do you do? Do you stick with that color and just say, oh, well, here it is, we're stuck with it? Or do you bleach it and start over? Because remember, you lost that 10% on the paint. You also lost all the money on uh, the markup, right? Yeah, crap, I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to go for it here. I want to see what a 1,000 is going to do. What's a 1,000 paint do? Nice but still not what I was wanting, still no pigment enhancer. So this is pretty much the basics of coloring, guys. It's not really super mathematical at all, um, as long as you're sure that you're using a color that you're maxed on, and as long as you're sure that you're, I'm sorry, as long as you're sure that you're using a color that you're maxed on, and as long as you're sure that you're using 323 cans per field, 
then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, that'll give you pretty much perfection almost every single time. Uh, Summer, Buzz's wife, wrote a really great article on intro to coloring. She's one of the highest level colors in the game, so she definitely knows what she's talking about. So, like I said, guys, not rocket science. It's just something not a lot of people do because it's super, super, super expensive. Um, if you guys need something colored and I can handle it, feel free to bring it to me as long as you bring me the item you want colored and the paint. I'll take care of the decay on the colorator, uh, and I'll be sure that we have a design that you want. I'm going to try and get these coloring skills up so that I can handle more paint colors. My goal is to actually have my own Stevie B fashion line at some point which would be really, really cool. Uh, I would like to be able to make some custom stuff for you guys. I think that'd be pretty rock and roll. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna keep on going through here. I'm just gonna keep up using, keep on using these paint cans, trying to see if we can get some good drops here, see if we can get anything interesting. And I'll probably end the video here in just a second. So tailoring is a lot the same way. I'll probably make a separate tailoring video later. I know it's not super exciting or anything, guys, and I apologize, but that's just kind of the nature of coloring in Entropia. It's not really a super exciting thing. It's not like hunting or mining where your blood kind of gets pumping. You just kind of throw it in the window. You throw the pain in there, and then you lose your markup. You lose your 10% TT value, and you move on down the road, right? So that's kind of the ins and outs. So for... Everybody here at EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B. I hope this little intro to coloring has been very, very helpful for, helpful for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any, had any success with coloring. Like I said, if you need something colored, feel free to hit me up in-game. Just send me a PM, and as soon as I get it, at, like I said, as long as you bring me the item and you bring me the paint, I am more than happy to eat the decay on the coloring tool. That's fine. Uh, I will only do things that are within my skill level. My skill level will be going up, 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 and away. Uh, I plan to do a lot more color skilling, even if I have to pay out of pocket to do it. Um, that's just the nature of the beast, right? So if you want to be the best, sometimes you got to spend money to get there. And that's one thing a lot of people aren't willing to do, that I, as long as I'm get. oh, hey, I did get a pigment enhancer. Check that out. Finally got it. Market value, 37,000% markup. There we go, baby. That's what I was looking for. Whew. I was wondering if we were going to get one in the run. So sure enough, we did. I'm glad I didn't stop the video any sooner. So it is possible. You can get the pigment enhancers. They do drop. That thing cost me a buttload of money to get. Um, obviously, you've seen each of these stacks was at least 7 ped. I did that one stack earlier that was 70 ped. Um, so, I mean... Sometimes the smaller stack wins, I guess. But it's it's definitely a whole different beast. It's not the same as hunting, mining, or crafting. That is for sure. It's not as entertaining by a mile. Um, there's a lot of intricacies that go into it. Definitely check out Summer's Guide if you want to get any kind of involved with paint, uh, with coloring and texturing. Definitely read her guide. I think Lilu, the guy that wrote the mining guide, he's also got a really, really good coloring guide out there. It's a little bit older than the mining guide is, I think. But uh, this is kind of basic intro to coloring. So from everybody at EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B. We hope that you guys continue to learn and earn. And as always, guys, I appreciate all the subscribers helping us get to that goal of 1,000 in the next 30 days. I appreciate all the in-game private messages I've been getting. That always makes me feel good. I'm getting more and more messages and more and more emails about how these videos have helped people out. So that's what I love to see. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish out this five-hour skill pill. I'm going to finish this coloring. Apparently, I need some more blueprint books, so we're going to get that taken care of. But I'll be back with more videos later this evening. Hopefully, we can pump several out this week. So we will see you guys soon. For now, continue to learn and earn. Take care, guys.